Okay, so this is Lisa, who's just finished the last day on the permanent makeup startup course with Katie. So it's been a long day, lots yes. of lovely clients in. Yeah. Um, so Lisa, if you could um, refresh your memory back to this morning. We had a lovely lady come, a new lady we'd never seen before. She drove all the way, I think it's about a four hour round trip, just to get her eyes, eyeliner and brows done. Yeah. Um, so how was, how did that one go this morning? It was great. She wanted quite sort of bold brows and yeah. sort of as thick an eyeliner as she could get. So yeah. it was a really good sort of example to work on. Yeah. Um, because, you know, we use different you know, needle sizes yeah. and, and techniques. So it was great to sort of have quite a challenging client first thing this morning. And, and then uh, in a good way, when you showed her the mirror, she, she swore a little bit. She, she did, yeah. It was, wow. <laughs> she loved it, which I, I don't mind. <laughs> Excellent. Happy. That's amazing. That's all good. And, and she also wants to book into more treatments in the future, which is good. Wanted a yeah, it. exactly. And then, um, and then we had a little break for lunch, and then we had another lady in, and this time, um, someone once again we've never seen before, a new client, um, and she had a particular reason why she wanted to actually have the treatment done. Why was that? Yeah, she has MS, and she does struggle to pencil her eyebrows in herself, so her daughter's been doing it. Mm -hmm. So you know, just to be able to wake up and everything's done, um, and she was delighted. Yeah. yeah, in fact, she was so delighted. What did she give you at the end? Twenty pound tip. Well, there we Which go. She didn't need to do, but it was, it was, she was just so happy. Yeah. She it, could stop looking at herself yeah. in the mirror. And, and is it nice yeah. to see that, that, you know, not just everybody comes as a sort of a cosmetic side of thing. Some people actually feel, do need it for certain other reasons as well. Yeah, for sure. We had a lady, I think it was yesterday, with um, arthritis who, again, really struggled to do her eyeliner. Yeah. And now that's done. Excellent. Think about it ever again, so. so it's been a, a, quite an intensive uh, week here, hasn't it? Yeah. How, how are you feeling now at the end of it all? Energised. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, wow, most really people, I thought you'd be knackered. No, no. Brilliant. You know, that kind of like, mm, buzzy feeling. And, and also, it just goes to show as well how you progress through the week, because like Kate said, you did pretty much 99% of the last treatment, and, um, you know, the confidence, I suppose, with the practice, yeah. do you think that it sort of grows with the, every treatment you do? Yeah, I mean, Katie is there, so although she said, I want you to do as much of this as you can, and she's always watching, but, you know, if you're okay to do it, She'll let you, obviously, if you're good, good enough yeah. to do it, she'll let you do it. Um, but then she's there if you need her. Yeah. So it's the perfect balance. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, so it's been a long week, and then you've got a uh, heading back tonight, are we? The drive, yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I'll well, be thinking about it all the way home, though. Wow. So. And we'll look forward to seeing um, your case studies coming through thick and fast at some point in the near future, I'm sure. And, um, and we'll look forward to catching up with you when we see you next. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's no problem. Amazing. Nice to have you here, Lisa. Thank you.